Today I'm making a seriously hot hot sauce using some of my super hot peppers. I'm calling it the one punch knockout. The chili we're using today is one that did very well for me this year. I've mentioned it a few times in some of my other videos. It's the Heinen Yellow Lantern. It is a very, very hot pepper, but very aromatic. And I came up with a sauce that I think is going to taste delicious. So let's get started. They are from the Capsicum Chenin's variety or family of peppers, which is where all the super hots come from. And this is definitely a super hot. It is a very, very spicy pepper. To offset a little bit of the spice, we're going to be adding in a few different uh, spices as well. Number one is the caraway seeds. So there is a teaspoon of caraway seeds. And over here, one of my favorite mixes of spices that you can buy off the shelf is Chinese five spice. This is just such a lovely mix. You can make it yourself, but there's quite a few ingredients and it, <laughs> it's a lot easier just to buy it prepared already. We're going to be making a mash. And for the mash, we're going to need 3%. I'm going to be making this a 3% salt ratio. I'm giving them a bit of a squeeze before I put them in just so that I can try and fit more in. Hopefully I can get them all in here. <laughs> that is uh, quite strong. So there's still quite a bit of headroom, unfortunately, but there's not a lot I can do about that. I just have to hope that I have sterilized and sanitized as well as I can. Uh, talking of which, this here has been properly sanitized and sterilized. This, however, it has been sterilized, but it was a couple of days ago. So I'm going to give it another bit of a sanitization now. I will be releasing a video about my methods that I use for cleaning, sterilizing and sanitizing. And uh, all that I'm using here is a bit of star sand, which will help sanitize this just before we use it. And it'll help keep everything as safe as can be. All that's left now is for me to label this, make sure that uh, I know what this is, but it's pretty unmistakable with this lovely color. I'm going to check on it in a few days time, but I'm gonna label this, stick this inside the Ferminator, which is my temperature controlled fridge. And I'm gonna set it at about 19 degrees Celsius because I'm gonna ferment this for around about a month, maybe a month and a half, we'll see. So here is the batch we started on the 22nd of September and it's looking healthy to me. As the season went on, of course, I had some more coming through, some more of these Heinen Yellow Lanterns. So I made some more batches and I used a different method than I used here. I used the vacuum seal method, but also a mash and I used the same amount of ingredients. So we're going to mix this all together and we're going to put that in the blender, but we're going to be adding a couple other ingredients as well. We're going to be adding some plums and we're also going to be adding some sugar. I want this sauce to be a bit of a sweet sauce. It's sort of Chinese themed and I'm going with that sort of Chinese sweet and sour. That's kind of my thinking, but I think this is going to taste amazing. The combination of the Chinese five spice as well as these plums and of course a little bit more sugar just to add a bit more sweetness to offset the heat of these things. You can use things like erythritol or sucralose if you prefer. 
if you're diabetic and you don't want as much sugar in this. So we go, that's 50 grams of brown sugar. Distilled vinegar, I think, is too much of a sledgehammer for this sort of thing. We need something a little bit more subtle. A white wine vinegar would go quite nicely here. So I'm going to use one liter with the amount of peppers we have. We have about, about a kg and a half, so a little bit less vinegar than we have peppers. Looks like a milkshake. So that's the other 500 milliliters of vinegar. This smells incredible. Kind of squeezing it out like toothpaste here. Before I empty it out, you can have a look inside there. It uh, looks good, smells good, like I said. It really smells fruity. Like, it smells almost like I added pineapple or oranges in there, but I really didn't. So because we've added some sugar and some fruit in here, we need to make sure that the fermentation doesn't start off again. Now, there's a couple of ways to do that. The way I'm going to do it here, it absolutely guarantees that it's going to stop, is we're going to cook it or simmer it for just uh, about 10 minutes. Now, I have to make a decision whether or not I add xanthan gum. I don't think I want to add xanthan gum to this because I don't want it to get thicker. So the only reason you'd really add it is to stop these things from separating. But I think I'm going to do without. So if you do buy the sauce and it does start separating, it really is not a problem. Just give the bottle a shake. Wow, that's stinging my nostrils. <laughs> oh, Chinese fire spice is such a lovely spice. I'm also going to put a little bit in a a bowl so I can test the pH just to let it cool down you don't want to test pH of your sauce while it's still hot it just it's gonna come back with the wrong measurement I calibrated this earlier today so I know it is spot on and That is just perfect. So it looks like 3.4 pH, 3.3 pH, which is a lovely safe pH. And I'm happy with that. Happy to send this out to you guys. So I'm doing everything I can to be as efficient as I can with this whole process, even though I'm bottling at home. The fact is this takes a lot of time, uh, the whole cleaning process and everything. So I'm going to share with you a couple of my tips here. I am bottling around about 75 bottles today, which means I need to clean 75 bottles. Now I've sterilized these bottles of mine. I'm actually using these over here. I've sterilized them, but now I have also sanitized them and I'm sanitizing them inside a no rinse sanitizer. This machine is the next step in helping me be efficient. So I've been filling with a funnel for quite a while now, and it works fine when you're doing smaller batches, but this machine over here is gonna help me do this a lot faster and a lot cleaner. This is the first time I'm using it for a proper batch. I've obviously tested it with other liquids, but let's see how it does. I have filled the hopper at the top here with the sauce. So let's try filling a bottle. Perfect. So I'm going to carry on filling up these bottles. I've got 75 to do, and I'll be back with you as soon as that's done. So they're all bottled. We've even got the labels on. And my lovely wife yet again has helped out with creating these lovely labels. And there's only one thing left to do, and that is 
open one of these up and see what the final taste is like. So I have on these a, a sealing sort of plastic thing over here. You can't really see it too well, I guess, on the camera, but it helps make sure that you get it in the best condition possible. And I'm going to give that a try. It's a nice texture. I like that. Worked out just right. Mm. Yeah, the Chinese five spice is quite apparent, but it's also it's got the other flavors coming through just right. So let's see if we got the heat right. Oh, <clears throat> that's a that's a good bit of spice. That was only a little bit there. Hmm. I'm trying to compare it. So now it's just to describe the flavor a bit here. The uh, the first thing you get is a bit of sweetness, and that's a mix of the the vinegar we used, and of course the peppers, and there is a little bit of sugar in there, but the sweetness isn't from that. It's the it's the kick of the <clears throat> it's the kick of the vinegar, um, but then it the heat starts building up. It's again not that instant sharp heat that you might get from some other really really hot sauces. Again, this isn't going to be like a uh, super super hot uh, hot sauce if uh, the only hot sauce you've ever had is Frank's or Tabasco then this is going to be a bit of a shocker but the flavors are good I'm gonna give it a bit more of a taste so do like that texture that's lovely yeah you even you can taste that plum as well even though I don't really use a lot of plum um, it definitely comes through. Oh, you guys are going to enjoy this. That is the One Punch Knockout. I'm pretty proud of this one. It's turned out even better than I expected it to. The flavors just work so well together. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think of it. And if you make a video reviewing it, let me know. You can get me on social media, send me a direct message or an email, or even on my website, there's a way to contact me through that. Let me know, and uh, maybe on one of the future live streams, I will feature the review or maybe even have a bit of a chat with you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and until the next one, stay spicy.